Hi there, I'm going to try and help you work with your phone to get it to connect to your computer. So I have the Galaxy S4 here, and then there's a lot of different options and ways of trying to get this connect to connect to your computer if it's not currently working. Uh, mine still is not working, and I noticed this after I updated to Windows 8.1, and it still worked on the Windows 8 laptop that I have and then the Windows 7 that my girlfriend has. But just recently it stopped working on all of those machines so I don't know if it's a Windows update or a phone update or what the situation is but I'm just having tons of issues trying to get it to connect but I've scoured all the forums and come up with all these different solutions that will hopefully help you so one of the first things you're gonna to want to do is make sure you're using the Samsung cable that came with the phone uh, I tried that right off the bat but it didn't do anything unfortunately for me but several people in the forums reported that that was one of the reasons why. Uh, possibly they weren't getting enough power. Try plugging it into a different USB port also. See if there's more power coming out of a different one. Uh, possibly straight off of the motherboard if it's a desktop PC. Plug it into the back of the desktop PC. So that's one of the options. Uh, a quick option if you're just looking to get stuff off right away. I just have to tell you about it. It's AirDroid. That's what I've started using. Uh, I was using SkyDrive but it was a long time to sync it sync it to the cloud, then sync it back down to my computer. AirDroid, it streams straight to a browser and downloads it to the computer that you want. It's a free app, it's totally worth it. Um, I would just recommend that and not bother if you don't have the time to mess around with everything. But otherwise, uh, we're gonna go ahead and try a couple different fixes for you. First thing you're gonna wanna do if the cable doesn't work, you're gonna wanna update your drivers on your computer. And I'm going to put that in the notes section of where you can find the drivers at on the Samsung website. Uh, that was recommended. I definitely did that. And then Samsung Keys 3. That's the updated version of their file transfer system. I never used it before. I just opened up the file explorer and moved things around whenever I needed pictures. But we'll see. Uh, if that works for you, let me know. And if either of those work, then you're set. Uh, if not, the next thing you're going to want to do is try debugging mode in developer options. So you're going to want to go into your phone here, click in the bottom left hand corner, it's going to bring up the settings, and then we're going to go up to the more settings in the top right hand corner, and from there you're going to want to go down to the bottom at about device, and from here you're going to want to find your build number, which is like three up from the bottom, you need to click that seven times, and it's going to prompt you with a warning after you do that, saying you're about to enter a debugging mode and just say okay that sounds great because that's what you're wanting so then go back one or it might pop you into it I'm not sure and then go into developer options right above the about device now and then from in here you're going to be able to turn it on up in the top right hand corner make sure it's turned on and then also make sure you turn on USB debugging mode and then you're going to want to back out through the top right up here and then once you're out and it's saved, you're going to want to go ahead and reboot your phone. I'm not going to reboot it in this case. And after it's rebooted, go ahead and plug the cord back into your computer and see if it recognizes it. And if you do, great. If not, there's one other option that I have for you. So you're going to want to go ahead, go back to the home screen. We're going to want to go into the dialer pad, bottom left-hand corner, like you're going to make a phone call. And so... If you've updated the software to 4.3, which I did, that didn't help at all. It had nothing to do with that. Uh, there's going to be a USB menu option code. And that code's are going to be star sign, pound sign, 0808 pound sign. And that's going to bring you up to different options here. And it should be MTP plus ADB is what you're looking for, which mine currently is on. So it doesn't help me at all, but maybe this will work for you. And set it to that, hit OK, and then you're going to want to reboot your phone again and try. Uh, the other thing I've had a little bit of luck with, uh, it's recognized on my computer for a few seconds once in a while. I've just changed it to CP, changed it to modem, changed it around to a couple of the other USB settings. That's a good option. Uh, it doesn't always seem to pick up. Who knows? It might work for you. I've been pretty desperate trying to figure things out here. And then the other option is, if you're still in the 4.2, the code that you're going to want is star pound 7284 pound and that'll get you into that same menu and if you have any questions or solutions feel free to leave them in the comments below help people out help me out maybe i can get my phone connected that'd be great the other option i got mine through at&t go to the store see what they say 
I assume this is going to be a common problem. So thanks.